Hello guys, welcome back to part 2 of the Political Machine 2012 and um, this is a game by Stardock Entertainment and um, this is exactly where we left off in the previous episode and um, I'm gonna go right into it and uh, destroy Donald Trump Donald Trump's our, our opponent, he's taken, off, taken up a lot of the red, red states and um, I've laid the groundwork by building a lot of headquarters and uh, now we are getting a good amount of cash every turn and I think um, by the week 40 around the half halfway point we will be able to pick our vice president and yeah that will be more exciting I, I think okay so uh, I'm gonna shift this guy around decreases his rating sure um, Visa stamina cost? Sure. Um, I don't like these issues over here. Let me see. Yeah, this is mine. Um, can I take this out? Let me see. Uh, advertisements. I think there's one in Florida. I think it's okay. I think I'm gonna keep it there. But I'm gonna go back to uh, Ohio. I think I have my spin doctor, my political operative, my webmaster. Yeah, webmaster is pretty key. Movie director. Sure, create more ads, um, TV ads. I'm gonna talk about um, high gas prices. I think. Where is it? Um, high gas prices. My opponent favors high gas prices. Yeah, Donald Trump, Donald Trump is rich. Of course he can handle high gas prices. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to hit, hit, it, hit him again on TV. And um, I'm going to see if I can bring Obamacare lower in the issue. Okay, I'm going to go next. Uh, looks like we are pretty maxed out. I'm going to try to um, upgrade my buildings over here get them upgraded don't enough cash um, alright then we go to the next state half a million let's give some uh, speech reducing unemployment sure uh, my opponent opposes them go to the next state over here and turn uh, wow, looks like Donald Trump did not manage to do much. Uh, let's see, Illinois, um, how are we doing? We are slightly ahead in Illinois. Right, uh, I'm going to get Obamacare away from being a top issue. Okay, so over here I'm going to um, build headquarters, get it upgraded. Then we go here and upgrade. Yep, we can. Um, I'm going to give a speech. I'm going to say that um, where is the high gas prices? Uh, looks like it's not available here. I'm going to say that my opponent opposes the deficit reduction. Right. People love what we are saying. Um, Alright. So now we change this from red to purple. And I'm going to go here. Uh, wow. Donald Trump is leading a lot in Arizona. Um, I'm gonna give a speech. I'm gonna say that. No, no, I think I'm gonna build a HQ first. Um, a campaign headquarters. I'm gonna upgrade it. Then I'm gonna give a speech. I'm gonna say that Donald Trump is against redu the reduction of an unemployment. Right, that's what people want to hear, right? Um, more speeches. Going to go all negative on Donald Trump. I'm going to exploit his credibility. Alright, that's nice. That's very effective. Um, let's go to another state. Let's enter. Trump finalizes HQ in Florida. Wow. Donald Trump did not have a upgraded HQ. I'm surprised. Uh, 1 million, that's not what we have yet. So I'm going to hit him a little more. 
Deficit, deficit reduction. Yep. I'm going to start changing these states from red to purple and uh, from purple to blue. In the meantime, my TPS are running, so they have a national um, impact. So um, Donald Trump is being hit nationally. Alright, so um, let's see if we can upgrade this. I'm going to go to Washington and I'm going to upgrade my stuff. I go, I'm going to give a speech. Uh, because as I remember, Washington has a um, pretty decent amount of electoral votes over here. So um, I'm going to give a speech. Mm, high gas prices, which is something that our opponent Donald Trump favors. Alright, so it looks like um, it's pretty down the list. Um, let me see. Um, yeah, gas prices is pretty down the list. I'm going to try and bring it up the list to have a bigger impact. Alright, so now this is um, this what the, the state of Washington is favoring John Kerry. No advertisements. Uh, the upgrades. Give a speech. High gas prices. More than favor is that. Right, so now he has an impact. Um, the higher the issue is, the greater the impact uh, that it has on people. Yep, so I'm going to bring these issues up. Uh, green jobs is pretty good. But let me see, I'm going to move away. Not enough stamina. Alright, so now this is blue as well. Let's look at the polls. We are now crushing Donald Trump. 322 electoral votes to 216. And that is even before half of the campaign is done. Um, what I realized is that early in game, what you got to do is you got to get, um, get the cash going. Build HQs, uh, build the campaign headquarters and stuff like that. Alright, so uh, let me see. I'm going to keep my political operative over here. I'm going to move this guy around. And I'm going to hit Donald Trump in Texas. While saving a bit more cash. I'm going to say that... Um, where is the high gas prices? I think I have it here, right? Um, right, Donald Trump favors this. So okay, I'm going to keep talking about it. Um, well, since that's the case, I'm going to create an ad to say that I favor deficit reduction. Can the campaign continues to move forward as candidates choose their running mates this week. Right, around week 40, which is the midweek, um, you can choose your vice president. I'm going to choose... Um, I, can, I can't remember who is uh, John Kerry's running mate. Um, what about Thomas Jefferson? Um, he seems pretty likable. Michelle Obama is pretty... Uh, okay. She lacks experience, uh, but she's um, good on appearance. Oh! Increases the effectiveness of interview appearances. Um, I think I'm gonna pick someone with um, with a bit more money and fundraising ability. How's I'll go? I got pretty decent. Barack Obama is uh, pretty amazing in terms of money and fundraising. Bill Clinton. Hmm. I need someone with a bit more credibility to help me uh, power the pressure on Donald Trump. Alright, I'm going to take John F. Kennedy. He's um, highly credible, pretty good money, and uh, fundraising. Let's crush our opponent and um, win this election of 2012. Alright, so I'm going to give more speeches. I'm going to talk about um, deficit reduction. Our opponent opposes deficit reduction. I'm going to talk about uh, reduction, reducing unemployment. Our opponent opposes that. I'm going to try and squeeze Obamacare away because uh, Donald Trump is very strong in that issue so I'm going to try and um, steer it away um, the other, I'm going to try and bring in other issues uh, such as, um, let me think I think there are some universally um, agreed upon kind of issues I think the war on terror is pretty good um, 
no outsourcing of jobs, I think. Yeah, I'm going to say that um, the outsourcing of jobs sucks. Um, so I'm going to say that I oppose. But I think, let, let, let me uh, run over to Ohio, where the um, cost of acquisition is cheaper. Uh, I'm going to come here first, take advantage of this. Depletes your remaining stamina. Ah, time waster. That sucks. It's okay. Fortunately, we used up most of our stamina. Carry maintains a steady second place showing halfway through campaign. Polls still show John Kerry trailing behind frontrunner Donald Trump. Really? Seriously? Um. All right. I'm gonna start to move uh, John Kennedy into Texas. Really? I thought we are ahead. We are ahead, right? I have no idea what that article was talking about. Um, let's create more advertisements over here when we get back. I'm going to create TV ads and I'm going to say that um, I oppose the outsourcing of jobs. And I'm also going to say that the outsourcing of jobs, um, where is it? That my opponent favors it on TV. Right. And I'm going to create more ads that um, say that my opponent, um, what are the other good stuff? Um, I think video game violence is, is pretty um, agreeable. Uh, let me think besides this, the war on terror would be good. Um, I'm going to say that my opponent opposes the war on terror. I'm going to say that my opponent favors uh, video game violence. Yep, carry blast Trump. Yeah, we're going to hit, keep hitting Trump since now we have the funds, we have the money. And uh, I, I think I'm going to do that in Ohio as well. Let me see. Uh, I'm going to upgrade my campaign headquarters here first. Then I'm going to um, Florida. Wow. He has brought in a lot of guys. Uh, doubles all of your opponent's awareness gains in the target state cheerleader. Seriously? That's where my fixer comes in. Remove the cheerleader. Um, start using my political capital to bring in more fixes. Alright. Cheerleader is gone. And I'm going to bring in a... Um, I'm going to bring in a... Spin Doctor? No, I'm going to bring in a Fixer, just as a precaution. Alright, um, right now, I'm going to bring in my Movie Director. And I'm going to start creating ad advertisements. Let me see um, what do I want. Um, the War on Terror is something that my opponent opposes, of course. Alright, so uh, Donald Trump is right in the state. And I'm going to um, give him more pressure. Let me see. Uh, video game violence is something that my opponent favors. Sure. Uh, let's see. What else? Um, how are we doing? Right. So now we are seeing that um, there are a lot of states are now in contention by both sides. And uh, the uh, democratic states are starting to show. I'm a bit concerned about this, uh, the state of California. Let's get a pause. We are still crushing Donald Trump, now in both the electoral votes as well as the popular vote. I think this is going to be uh, pretty straightforward from now. I'm hoping that that's true. Um, right, let's, let's create more ads. I'm just going to throw money at Donald Trump. Throw more money at Donald Trump. Um, outsourcing of jobs is something that my opponent favors, of course. Uh, hit Donald Trump even harder. Reducing unemployment, my opponent opposes. Uh, no, I think I want to go for something high gas prices, of course. My opponent favors high gas prices. Um, what else? What else? Um, the war on terror. Of course, my opponent opposes. Right. Um, I keep trying to capitalize on Donald Trump's uh, lack of credibility. 
Then what I'm going to do next is I'm going to try and upgrade all of the uh, other the remaining buildings. Um, to get more political capital. I'm going to upgrade this. Um, what's this? This is not mine, right? Doubles opponent's charisma. Alright, fix it. That's what you're going to do. Right, we're gonna withdraw the storyteller, and we're gonna get more fixes. Um, this is one reason why we need to have a lot of political capital. Uh, let's see what else can we take away from Donald Trump. I think this is my guy. Looks like Donald Trump has used most of his operatives. Oh, what's this guy doing? Oh, this guy's mine. Um. Yep, okay, looks like we are pretty much in the lead. I'm gonna rest, take it easy. Right, deficit reduction becomes a national issue with Trump. Looks like Donald Trump is trying to say that he favors uh, deficit reduction. However, his lack of credibility is hurting him a lot, I would think. Can we upgrade? Yep, we're gonna upgrade this. And get more political capital. Next turn, this looks like a pentagon. Alright, um, I'm going to try and get as much political capital as I can. Not enough cash, then I'm going to give a speech. Right, going negative on Donald Trump is a staple. Okay, let's see whether he has brought in new guys. What's this guy doing? Um, raises your opponent's fundraising potential in target state by 25%. Alright, we need to get rid of this. Money man withdraws. Yep, that's key. Anywhere else, we can get your guy to withdraw. Smear merchant. Hmm. We get another fixer. Um, as you have realized, each time we get um, the operative, it increases in price. Smear merchant withdrawals. Yep, and that's why we need to have more and more political capital. And uh, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to spend money to um, upgrade my buildings so that I can get more political capital. Upgrade it with $1 million. Starting to build a bit more. Alright, so now I'm going to try and hit the state of Texas since I have time. Um, if let's say this is the last few weeks, I'm going to I, I will be trying to strengthen my position. But I'm feeling pretty good right now. Alright, so let's get a uh, Smear Merchant. My Smear Merchant is here. I'm going to put you in Texas. And uh, what else can I do? Um, Intimidator. Um, I find that the Intimidator is not very effective because awareness can be regained very quickly. So this is uh, pretty much uh, not much use unless you are very very desperate. Um, raises awareness. Um, I seldom use the Consultant because um, my advertisements, uh, TV ads, national TV ads um, tend to be able to do this job. Um, you should use Consultants if you are playing a short campaign and you want to push for the win. Alright, I'm gonna put a spin doctor in Texas. Continue to give Donald Trump as much pressure as possible. Uh, now I'm gonna rest up. Gain full stamina. Can I upgrade? I cannot. Um, I'm gonna build more consulting offices. Enough funds, uh, then I'm going to go to Texas and start giving speeches. Right, so um, as you can see, now the top issues are my issues, uh, the issues that I'm good at. So I'm going to enter and I'm going to start giving speeches. Um, right, these are the top three issues. Now Obamacare is away, uh, it's less of an issue now. So now I'm going to talk about, um, I'm going to bring other issues up, and um, I think. Some general issues would be the war on terror. I favor. 
One Terra. Let me see, uh, I think. There's some issues like bank bailouts, um, it can be contentious. Um, I think in the um, banking heavy states, I think if I'm not wrong, like uh, New York maybe, um, it is not um, universally accepted. Let me see, um, high gas prices, right? These are my issues over here. Um, the one terror, my opponent opposes, of course. I'm gonna start convincing people that Donald Trump is against the war on terror. You can see uh, opponent opposes the war on terror. I'm gonna talk about it again and again and again. And um, in real life, once you say something many many times and uh, over time, people will take it to be true. So that's the strategy that we're going for. Let's look at the um, state issues. Obamacare is now lowered. Social security, the war on terror is moving up. I'm going to move the war on terror up. And I'm going to move the um, other issues like um, video game up as well. Okay, so I'm going to start moving various issues up. Uh, give a speech. TV ads. Uh, I'm going to give speeches on War on Terror. Start talking about it again and again. Yep. Once you talk about it uh, quite a few times, people take it to be true and it becomes more and more effective. I'm going to push tax cuts and Obamacare down. Are they down yet? War on Terror. Tax cuts are down. One more to Obamacare. Next turn. War on Terror. Well, it looks like Obamacare is something that Donald Trump keeps talking about. That's unfortunate. Well, we have negative 1%, seriously? Alright, but right now, um, we are holding the um, top issues right now. Right, so, um, yeah. Hopefully, we can um, hold out in this area. Let me see, um, what else can we talk about? I'm going to talk about the um, outsourcing of jobs. My opponent opposes, uh, sorry, opponent favors. Speech. Um, where is it again? Outsourcing of jobs. Opponent favors. I mean, of course, right? Donald Trump owns many uh, businesses and um, it's very general if, um, if he decides to uh, save some money. Okay, let's look at the polls again. Looks like Donald Trump is catching up. We are down from 300, um, over 300 to 294 electoral votes, but we are still good. Um, if I remember correctly, um, 270 is the um, is the point where we want to go over. Now we are 1 million, no, no, 3 million ahead in terms of the popular vote. We have doubled the, we have nearly doubled the amount of money Donald Trump is spending. Okay. It would be a great pleasure if I can win taxes over. But I'm going to go around the different states and um, start spending a bit of money building up. Because uh, with only with more cash can I um, continue to pump out more advertisements and uh, smear Donald Trump in the game, of course, not in real life. Alright, so we're going to do that. Upgrade, upgrade. In turn, upgrade, upgrade. And um, I'm gonna change my view a little and see if there are any red colored guys. Now, this guy is red colored. Uh, State of Nevada. Fashion consultant increases your opponent's appearance points. Really? Uh, what did I do? Hmm. Okay, if I sp oh, well, okay, so um, this guy, the uh, Newt Gingrich, I think he was a he used to be a speaker. I think now he's um, the running mate of Donald Trump. Okay. 
let me see um, are there any places that we need our fixer to go to I think it's pretty okay for now okay I'm gonna change view again um, I'm gonna go and upgrade all the various areas Well, it looks like Donald Trump has chased away from the state of Oregon. We don't have buildings. So how are we? Um, I think we're pretty okay in California. I think we're pretty well liked actually. I'm gonna get some um, operatives like the um, spin doctor I think. Sure, why not let's get one. Right, so now we, are we have taken over California and um, I'm gonna go to Florida. I'm gonna go between Florida, these states over here, and Texas. I'm gonna, you know, um, alternate between these areas. All right. So now this is um, week 60. Um, this game is moving at a pretty fast pace. Let me see what else needs to be done. Um, okay. So how are we in Florida? Donald Trump is leading, that is um, not ideal. I will create more advertisements, uh, outsourcing. Modern. Hmm, looks like outsourcing is not something that is good to talk about in Florida. Modern opposes. Using unemployment on national TV. And um, War on Terror. Hmm, it looks like it's contentious in uh, these states over here. Um, I'm sure there are some uh, universal stuff that people agree upon. Let me see. Um, I'm going to talk about... Um, I don't think fuel efficiency, green jobs is not something there is um, all agreed upon. Uh, Definitely not gun control, video game violence. Wow, um, really? You guys have something against video game violence? Um, okay, alternative energy. Okay, in that case, I'm gonna go newspaper. I'm gonna keep it local. I guess some issues are trying to keep it local. I'm gonna say my opponent opposes the um, support for Israel. Voters split between Kerry and Trump into the final stretch. So right now is the last 20 weeks of the uh, campaign of the game. And um, yep, so this is the time where we start throwing money all around, getting more advertisements all around the country and uh, squeezing our opponent, which happens to be Donald Trump. Wow, Donald Trump is now leading. Um, even though we have the popular vote, looks like I need to start fighting for the um, electoral votes right now fighting for the key states uh, should not be playing around yeah the states all right so um, I'm going to cut the video off here and um, do some uh, thinking about what's my next step gonna be and I'll see you guys in the next episode all right thanks for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe for more see you guys